conclusion is fuck Dallas. Go Houston. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Lead. Your host is always Harley Dugan. It is absolutely exciting right now to be a Texans fan. We are going to be reacting to a first take video via Stephen A. Smith, who is, uh, you know, he always waffles his opinions when it comes to our Houston Texans. Uh, I remember a day way, way, way back then when uh, he did call out the Houston Texans organization for uh, firing colored head coaches and that no colored head coach should ever coach the Houston Texans again. Now he's here to give us praise and give us his flowers. So you know what? I'll take national media love whenever I can get it. And I have no problem with it. And he not only talked highly of the Houston Texans, but he also mentioned that the Houston Texans are the best team in Texas. And without a doubt, he is a thousand percent correct. Let's get into this, guys. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. We're on the road to 8K, uh, almost at 7K. So again, super appreciate every single one of y'all that has liked, commented, subscribed. Go ahead, smash that like button. Easy to smash your life. Damn it, it feels good to ask Stefan Diggs. Drop it in the comment section and let's react to this video. All righty. A quarterback. You no, know you're missing the big headline, right? What's that? The big headline is. They're probably the best team in Texas. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> but you, and you're right. Oh, God. And you know what? Probably you know what, though? That, no, real talk, you're right. Look, this they team, are. I'm telling you, this changes, this changes the dynamic. They've already been doing work this offseason, man. And now with him, come on now. I'll tell you something else. ESPN, come on. watch him get the Monday night game because Buffalo plays Houston. They Look, both want to do it. That's must-see now. Houston that's must-see How about TV. Houston at Buffalo in a, play, in a, in a, in a game in October? You well, can't, I'm you hoping, I'm, I'm, I don't know if it's on the schedule, but I'm, hosting, I'm hoping it's Houston against Dallas because you see Dan, Dan Dallas. Dan Dallas <laughs> Texas, right? So what's going to happen with those Dallas Cavs? That fans is your Southern they're gonna, accent. They're going to sit up there and they're going to monitor this situation. And it's one thing for you not to win a Super Bowl. That's bad enough. It's one thing for you not to make an NFC championship game in 29 years. That's even worse. But it's another thing entirely when you ain't even the best team in Texas. Because that goes to somebody. They got a younger quarterback. They got, better argue, quarterback. They got, they got a younger quarterback. They have the better coach. And excuse me. And these brothers ain't going to cost $60 million against your cap right now. How you understand what I'm saying? I mean, you got to pay C.D. Lamb. You got to pay Dak Prescott. You got to figure out a way to play Michael Parsons. And all the Houston Texans are doing is saying, howdy, <laughs> we're here. You know what I'm saying? And our focus is on the right things. I'm just saying. And I tell you, I'm what a, if you have a quarterback. Look, and what he's bringing up is absolutely correct. Uh, regardless of the the bantering towards the Cowboys fans, I cannot stand Dallas Cowboy fans. They're absolutely horrific. So with that being said, everything Stephen A. Smith again said was a thousand percent correct. The Houston Texans have catapulted themselves from a two-year rebuild. Really, this was supposed to be the second year of the rebuild. It's not really been a two-year rebuild. It's been a year and a few months, year and a half, they've already catapulted themselves in direct contention for a Super Bowl. They're already past the Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys are nobodies. The Houston Texans are the best team in Texas. Sure, they're not going to take that America's team moniker because that's been around since 1960s or whatever. And that's about as old as their Super Bowl ring. So, you know, it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, the Houston Texans are better, and it took them – just what two a year and a half a year and a half for them to come back into contention and not only be back into contention but be better than the Dallas Cowboys it is absolutely hilarious that the Houston Texans are now in direct eyesight of the Kansas City Chiefs whereas the Dallas Cowboys they, I mean they keep getting their ass whooped by the San Francisco 49ers every single time so what is to say in conclusion is fuck Dallas. <laughs> fuck Dallas. Go Houston Texans. But for Pedro. They had an offseason that was unlike any other 
The Houston Texans right now, ladies and gentlemen, are looking at playoffs and they're looking for much more and they're looking at those damn Kansas City Chiefs. As always, guys, go Astros, go Rockets, go Texans. You have a blessed day.